episode title starting with the letter A to E. Episode titles starting with the letter F to J. Farmer Ant. Seeds can grow into plants long after a seed is formed. Would you believe that an Arctic lupine seed, more than ten thousand years old, grew into a flower when it was finally planted? Vincent Van Gogh painted his famous painting, The Olive Trees, in eighteen eighty nine. The same year that the Eiffel Tower in Paris opened to the public. Pigs don't roll around in the mud because they want to be dirty. They do it to protect their skin from the sun. Mud is like sunscreen to a pig, and it also helps to keep pigs cool in hot weather. Johann Sebastian Bach might not have made it to outer space, but his music has. The second concerto from Bach's Brandenburg Concertos is part of the collection of music on board the Voyager spacecraft. Johann Sebastian Bach's Brandenburg Concertos were also called six concertos. For several instruments, because each one was written to be played by different instruments. People stay healthy and grow by eating things like fruits and vegetables. But since plants can't eat food, they count on the sun's rays. The energy from the sun mixes with the water in the air to make food that helps the plant grow. When that happens, it's called photosynthesis. <laughs> Just because it's cloudy outside doesn't always mean it's going to rain. Only certain clouds, like Nimbostratus and Cumulonimbus, have drops of water that turn into raindrops. Vincent Van Gogh loved the way ancient olive trees looked so much that he made more than a dozen different paintings of them. You might have known that Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, but did you know that it's so big you could fit 318 planet Earths inside of it? Neptune is sometimes called the windy planet because winds there can reach more than 1,200 miles per hour. That's more than four times the strongest winds ever recorded on Earth. If you lived on Saturn, the classic bedtime story "Good Night Moon" would have to be changed to "Good Night Moons." That's because Saturn has eighteen different moons. If you lived on Mercury, you'd be either really hot or really cold all the time. The side of Mercury facing the sun is more than 700 degrees Fahrenheit, while the side away from the sun is more than 200 degrees below freezing. If you look at Mars through a telescope, you'll see that it looks red. Mars gets its red color from the soil, which is full of reddish-colored iron oxides. Uranus is sometimes called the blue planet, but its surface isn't actually blue. Uranus looks blue because of the way the sunlight is absorbed in its atmosphere. Back. Ludwig von Beethoven 
wrote his famous composition for Elise in 1810, the same year that composer Robert Schumann was born. Edvard Munch painted his famous painting, The Screen, in 1893, the same year that the first Flag Day was celebrated in the United States. Back. The Blue Danube Waltz. By Johann Strauss, is one of the most famous waltzes in the world. It was because of this waltz that Johann Strauss became known throughout the world as the Waltz King. Artist Andy Warhol wasn't just famous for his paintings; he was also famous for his studio. He worked out of a studio called the Factory in New York City, which had some very unusual wallpaper, aluminum foil, and silver paint. The Austrian Alps are part of the European Alps that run through Italy, Switzerland, and France. The highest peak in the Austrian Alps is twelve thousand four hundred and sixty-one feet. Around the same height as the tallest mountain in Idaho. Pop artist Andy Warhol loved eating Campbell's soup, but he also loved painting it. Warhol made 32 paintings featuring the well-recognized soup cans between 1961 and 1962. The grounds of Schönbrunn Palace don't just have beautiful gardens, parks, and outdoor mazes. It is also home to the world's oldest zoo, which opened in 1752. Even though Johann Strauss's composer father wanted his son to be a banker, Johann secretly studied the violin. When he was a child, and pursued his dream of music. When Vienna was founded more than two thousand years ago, it was a Celtic settlement. Today, it is the capital of Austria and home to more than a quarter of Austria's population. The Danube River is the second longest river in all of Europe. It is three hundred miles longer than the Colorado River, and it flows through nine countries, including Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Romania. What do knights and firefighters have in common? The armor of a medieval knight weighed fifty pounds. That's about the same weight as a firefighter's coat, hat, boots, and gear. The Bayeux tapestry isn't actually a tapestry at all. A tapestry is a woven cloth. But the Baia tapestry is an embroidered cloth. Edvard Grieg composed "Morning Mood" from the Pierre Gynt Suite Number、no. One in 1876, the same year that Alexander Graham Bell made the world's first telephone call. Even though nobody knows for sure who created the Bayeux tapestry, historians believe it was created more than 900 years ago by many different people working together. Edvard Grieg's "Morning Mood" 
from the Peer Gint Suite Number、no. One has been heard in many movies and TV shows. Before a person could become a knight in the Middle Ages, he had to spend fourteen years training as a page and a squire. Back. Even though drawbridges didn't become popular until the Middle Ages, when they were used to cross moats, one of the oldest drawbridges was built more than four thousand years ago in ancient Egypt. The Bayeux Tapestry is one piece of art that wouldn't fit in your living room. Although the Bayeux Tapestry is less than two feet high, it is two hundred and thirty feet long. That's more than half the length of a football field. Go west, young train. Larsen isn't just the name of a musical suite by Georges Bizet and the play he wrote the music for. It's also the name of one of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. Navajo baskets are used for things like holding special objects and food. They might also be flipped over and used as a drum. What was it that made the West so wild? Back when American settlers were exploring the frontier, the Wild West was what they called the part of the country that hadn't been settled yet. The first steam train to ever ride on a commercial railroad track was named Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb took its first railroad voyage in 1830. The Grand Canyon was one of the first national parks in America, and while today you'll find it full of tourists, hundreds of years ago, Native Americans lived in the canyon. Did you know that cactuses have sunglasses? The thousands of spines on a cactus shade different parts of the plant as the sun moves across the sky. Just like a pair of sunglasses. Basket weaving is one of the oldest Native American crafts there is. Navajo baskets are usually made from yucca fibers that are coiled around in a black, white, and red pattern. Georges Bizet was born in 1838 in Paris, France. That's the same year that Samuel Morris showed his telegraph invention to the public for the first time.